So this was uh, originally posted on the channel for a pattern called Origami. And today I want to apply a little, of, little bit of watercolor to the areas. And let's see, I'm going to apply it different ways, okay? And again, you can use whatever watercolor that you have. Here I'm using. Um, my um, company from Windsor Newton and when you paint in make sure you do it in such a way that um, you bound around a little bit Come for example I painted this. I won't paint this until this is dry, dry, but I can go over here. So I'm going to lose a little bit of water. Hope the um, the moving of round of the uh, painting doesn't make you dizzy. Now this gray hair was done by using um, intense pencils, so I'm really not worried about the paint or ink lifting.
one here bleeding in and I'll show you why. So get some more water. Go back to you the yellow ochre. I like the yellow, yellow ochre because it's kind of a unifying, unifying color. And a little bit of gold. Once again, I'm not sitting down with a different knit plan. Like my doodles, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I have a general idea. Again, going in just some plain water. Blue with um, green, a darker green. Again, I'm not really worried about going over the lines, the ink that I will be using soon will more or less mask it out. And a little bit of magenta in here. Smooth this out a little bit. I like it so far. So the weather outside today is pretty cloudy. Um, so the lighting is basically from the window, but I also have a light over my art table. So I apologize for that. But still with a little bit of red. Maybe a little bit more.
I wasn't expecting to use this amount, this number of colors. I basically I like to use a limit of, of palette, colors to unify to unify the um, the painting. But I'm just having fun. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit of Payne's Gray. And you're thinking, why? It's so dark. But I'm using a little bit of mixture of blue with the Payne's Gray so it's not so dark hopefully So I like this one here, and I want to kind of replicate, replicate that. So I'm going to do it down here. So a little bit of dark green. I'll go with that first. A little bit of blue. Leave that in here. That. So, up a little bit of excess water carefully and go in with a little bit of magenta now it won't be an exact match but that's okay and it carry that color into here and I want to carry this here into here with me luck okay let's go in with a little bit more water Put my brush a little bit. Go with the low ochre. Sorry about the fire, and I live in right next door to, well, not right next door, a block away. So, sorry about that. This is kind of okay. Um, when you're painting, or even when you're just dueling, um, I think every piece goes to um, what I call an ugly stage. Where these, I did that. I don't. I don't know if I want to continue. But 
Trust me. Go ahead. Continue. See? It looks better. And it, when it, it dries, it will lighten up a bit. Not quite sure what color I want to add. So, let's see. The base color is yellow and the shell color will be a little bit of ochre. And let's go with a little bit of green. And I just picked up more water, so it's spreading out that way. Okay, um, I'm going to incorporate this into this thing. Just a little bit of pigment and a lot of water in relation to the actual surface area. I'm going to do the same thing for this area here. But, lift it up a little bit. Good. I want to wait a little bit for that to dry, because I have to do this. The good thing about doing this kind of thing is by the time you go back in, the watercolor is pretty dry and you don't have to worry about a lot of bloom in the, from the pen you use. Going to go in with a bit of water. And I'm going to spread that out and pick up some of the color. And I'm going to use a little bit of blue. Yes, I like blue. And I want to mop up the some of the water. And a little bit of yellow ochre.
clean out my brush get more up water in it okay put my brushes away for a minute and how you like it so far so what I'll do is I will let this dry completely or kind of completely um, and then come back and do the doodling in the various shapes I'll be back okay I'm back now first thing I w wanted to m mention as you can see like the white of the paper here and here not to worry the and here not to worry because I'm going to go in with Thule art pens I think I'm going to use the three and the two So first thing is let's take up the white spaces first. And again, if the um, camera burst things out, I apologize. And I move my paper around a lot, so hope you're not getting C6, 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 anyway. Um, all right, so, and remember, if you after you're done no will nobody will know that it's a mistake so just have fun <laughs> 